Welcome back to another video. Today I'm sharing this Model 1's all-in-one kit. This kit includes a dip powder set as well as an acrylic set. So I'm going to share the kit with you first, everything in it, and then I'm going to be doing a client's nails with a dip powder set. Step-by-step -step tips on the best way to apply dip powder, my thoughts on this kit in general. So let's take a quick look at everything in this kit and then I'll work on my client. <music> So before I get started showing everything, I should let you know I do have that 10% off code. You can see that up on the screen for Model 1s. It'll be down in the description as well as a link for this kit. Now this kit is a really great value for everything you get in it. I have looked at it, of course, so I can honestly say that, but that's all I'm going to say for now about this kit. So I'm starting by showing you the dip powders. I think there is six of them in this kit and they're all glittery dip powders. I will show you the swatches I did with each dip powder. I won't actually be swatching them, but I did do them ahead of time. And I will show you with the color number what you're gonna get in this kit. So the number on this dip powder is either 80 or 08, not 100% sure. So one more dip powder to show you quick and then we'll get on to what else is in here. So now when you apply the dip powder, there is three steps in applying it. That was number one, it is the base. And then you've got number two, the activator. Then we've got number three, which is gonna be your top coat. So it does have some monomer for the acrylic. It's 1.7 fluid ounces. It also comes with a few forms. I'm not sure how many are in here. I'm assuming about 10 or 20. I didn't count them. Then we've got your cuticle pusher, which is good to have in a kit because you want to clean up those cuticles first. And then we've got the 100, 180 grit Model 1's file. These are good files. And then we've got a dabbin dish, which is really nice. You put your monomer in that. And then they even put an acrylic brush in this kit. And this one is a nice brush. Number 12, it'll do the trick for a beginner or someone that has used acrylic. It is an acrylic brush, so nice to have that in the kit. I'm just gonna open it up so you can see it a little better. It's not top quality acrylic brush, but it will do the trick for what you need it for. So I'm gonna pull out the acrylic powders now that come with the kit and just show you. This is number 18. It's a really nice color and I will have these on swatch sticks later. I won't actually swatch it, but you'll see the colors. I'll put it with the number later in the video. And this is 27, a really nice color as well. A little bit more of a pastel color. And then they also include in this kit some transparent, so some clear acrylic. This is number 31. And the last thing in the kit, they did send some crystals. There's quite a few purple, kind of like teardrop crystals, raindrops, I guess you could call them, and some other crystals, round ones, like some clear crystals that I think were in this. It's just a cute little set of crystals. So that's the whole kit. Look at everything you get in the kit. Like I said, I think it's a great value for the amount you're getting. Again, those links will be down below. Now I'm just gonna show you the swatches really quick of each dip powder first and then the acrylic powder. So I'll be back once I'm done showing you all of the swatches, which won't take very long.
So I'm going to show you the swatches right away all together. Of course, those are all of the dip powders. I think the peach and purple are definitely my favorites out of those. And of course, the acrylic, you've got the kind of pastel peach color, and then you've got the really pretty glitter one in the acrylic. So I'm going to get started right away doing my client's nails with the dip powder. I did want to do a video on this because there's lots of tips and tricks in applying dip powder, and I wanted to share that with you. So if you do purchase this, kit or any other model ones dip powder kit then you're going to know exactly what works best when applying dip powder so as you can see i'm using a diamond bit to take the shine off her natural nails now she did have red nail polish on her nails so that's what that kind of reddish pink color is she just has some leftovers it will be removed after filing off the shine off the nail. And if I don't get it all, then I'll use some acetone. But I decided to use my e-file. I am a certified nail tech and I prefer my e-file over using a hand file. You could use the hand file in this kit to do this. You would just lightly use the 180 grit side, the finer side of the file, and just lightly buff away the shine on the nails to begin with. But like I said, I am using a diamond bit in this video to remove the shine. So it's at a very low setting, not high at all because I don't want to damage her natural nail in any way. It's just going to take away the shine. So it's always important to do the prep work before you do a service because it's going to ensure that you're going to have a good bond with the product to the natural nail. So now I'm using my e-file again and I'm going to remove the cuticle off the natural nail and push it up so that I can get rid of any of that dead cuticle. It's also going to ensure that I get rid of a lot of that red that's on the edges of her cuticles. And now in the kit there is that cuticle pusher. You can use that to remove the cuticle and push it back it definitely is an important step because if you don't remove that cuticle off your client's natural nails or your natural nails it's going to cause lifting with any product So now I'm going to take my 100 and 180 grit file. I used a smaller file. I hated to waste that big file that came in the kit. I like using the small ones because I do throw them away after each service. So I'm just shaping her free edge, just making it nice and neat. She had a little bit of a free edge, which was nice. So more for neatening them up rather than shortening. So after filing, I decided I wanted to take another cuticle bit. This is a diamond bit, and I want to remove any more of that cuticle that I'm still seeing just to neaten them up on her nail and her skin itself. Mm -hmm. 